Today as we seek God on January 11th, we seek the manifest presence of God in our lives so that His glory may be clearly seen around us by everyone else, and that by the witness of His glory in our lives, the world may know that the Lord, He is God. Ezekiel chapter 37 verses 27 and 28 says this to us, My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. In Exodus chapter 40, Moses finished the work on the tabernacle, and when he did so, a cloud covered the tabernacle. It was so intense that even Moses himself was not able to enter the tabernacle. It was such a defining moment of the Shekinah glory of God revealed in the camp of Israel at that time. It was by this visible manifestations of God's presence that the cloud would hover over the camp of Israel. And as it hovered over the camp of Israel, Israel would stay in place. And when it would lift up and move, then Israel would follow the cloud and the cloud would be in the midst of Israel as the camps of Israel was all around the tabernacle. So let me illustrate something else to you in, in, in Joshua chapter 1 and chapter 2. You see, Israel had been wandering for 40 years and now after Moses' death, Joshua was on the banks of the river getting ready to cross over into Jordan. And Israel was camped on the opposite side of the river, just very near Jericho. Um, Joshua had just received a word of encouragement from the Lord God, who told him, Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. It was shortly after that that Joshua sent two spies into the land to spy out the, the area and find out what was there. And in doing so, they, they entered into Jericho and into the house of a harlot by the name of Rahab. Now Rahab befriended the, the spies and hid them from the king's men. And uh, later in her conversation with these two spies, she had this to say. She revealed why she was helping them. She said, I know that the Lord has given you the land. For we have heard how that the Lord dried up the waters of the Red Sea. And the Lord, your God, is God. He is God in heaven above and He is God in earth beneath. What a revelation that the presence of God caused in the land that was around them. So then, this is what happens. When the presence of God dwells in us and the glory of His mighty power is demonstrated through us, then a watching world becomes convicted of the fact that the Lord, He is God. Let's pray together. God, grant us according to the riches of Your glory that we should be strengthened with might by your Spirit in our inner man, that Christ may dwell in our hearts by faith, that we, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able with all the saints to grasp the concept of how wide and how long and how deep and how high is the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that we might be filled with the full presence of God and that others around us may know that Jesus is Lord. Amen.